This is Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief Spartan 117, with a message for the UNSC Infinity. I have access to the domain. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Now today we have a very special video indeed. We've got both of the UNSC ships, the signature series of Mega Bloks, Mega Constructs, lined up next to each other. We're going to compare the two and ask which one is the best? I know that might seem like an obvious answer, but I'm going to weigh up a lot of different things. I'm going to be very fair between the two. Like I'm not going to compare new and old articulation that much, but I'm going to compare the ships, the price points, the accessories, the figures, everything. And you can let me know in the comments below which you think wins best ship. All right, so we have the Halo Forward Unto Dawn, the very first signature series set in the Mega Bloks line, set number 117 in a very appropriate number there. This thing just defined my childhood. It was the pinnacle of my YouTube channel, the greatest video I made. I was so proud to own this set back in the day. It was insanely difficult to get hold of, even from release. There were rumors that only one was sold per Toys R Us in the UK, so it was a real difficult set to get. And really, I've never stopped being in love with this thing, never stopped appreciating it. It's always been pride of place on my collection. And today, it's joined by its little baby brother, the UNSC Infinity, which, it's a little bit smaller, is still an absolutely magnificent set, a slightly different color scheme, and really utilizes and showcases a lot of the progress that Mega Bloks, Mega Constructs have made as a company in their designing and in their production over the years. And just to have them both side by side, it, you can tell by this video, it fills my heart with joy. So we're going to judge these two sets based on six different criterias today. The price, the design, the build, then the characters, the accessories, and the features. And a lot have different pros and cons. Let's start with the price. Now, the Forward Unto Dawn released in 2012. It was the first signature series set, and it was 2,877 pieces. This is the largest Halo set that we've ever created. This high piece count allows us to create not only a highly authentic exterior, but an incredibly detailed interior as well. And it retailed for quite a lot of money. This was at least 250 pounds, maybe 250, 300 dollars. It was by far the most expensive set. It was only for diehard collectors and the occasional people that had good connections with Mega Bloks. But this thing, it was just it was just too expensive at the time for the majority of people. And now because we're so many years past that date, it's now sold on Amazon and eBay for like 800, maybe a thousand dollars. It's just it, it's so expensive now and it's so inaccessible. So the price was it really scared a lot of people away. And I know that talking to collectors over the years, they would have rather there were less pieces for a more preferable price point so they could have actually got hold of this thing. And that's when the UNSC Infinity comes into play. It's 2018 release. It was 2,456 pieces and retailed at below $200, below 200 pounds, which immediately is a far more accessible set for the wider audience. And you can find it on Amazon and eBay now for even less than $200. When I'm talking about price, I would immediately say that the UNSC Infinity is better for a wider audience. But then we're going to talk about the design, which is where the Infinity starts to lose points. Now, although this thing is absolutely gorgeous, it stands on top of just like a dozen translucent bricks, which is the same as almost any normal set. The Forward Unto Dawn, however, has these magnificent black stands here that run in four pieces across the build and just makes it feel like such a bigger beast. It also has this absolutely gorgeous nameplate, the Forward Unto Dawn FFG201. This feels like a signature build. And they took a page out of Lego's book where they've actually said the scale one in 500 from the original. So that's really cool. This one, however, just has the name of the UNSC Infinity stamped onto its body, which is fine, but doesn't really make you feel like it's a collector's item. Forward Unto Dawn rocks this light silver color while the UNSC Infinity has a darker silver. I actually prefer the darker silver, to be honest, but 
the Forward Unto Dawn highlights so many more lights that run all the way around it. These yellow lights and red ones really pop the vehicle out, makes it feel like there's an interior, that these are all actual rooms inside with viewing platforms. And then the Forward Unto Dawn just pays more attention to detail, if you ask me. These tiny little cannons that swivel around on the two-piece cannons, they're on an actual swivel joint. And then just looking inside here, just so many little buttons, so many gizmos, wires, everything like that. It makes it feel more alive. It's still got a lot of nice pieces, a lot of these silver grids but it feels a little less lifelike without these lights. Then the Forward Unto Dawn also has a really nice side as well. The Infinity is more prominent and on two sides with printed detail, which is way nicer. The Infinity has all of these nice movable panels and then the Infinity also utilizes all of these sleek, smooth tile pieces. But then we're gonna talk about the main focus of both of the vehicles is the removable panels. The Forward Unto Dawn has one, two, three, and it showcases an enormous amount of the interior of the ship. With Halo Mega Bloks at this point, we'd already got a cryo bay, which was really cool. They wanted to include this because it's so iconic for the Forward Unto Dawn. But they gave it this gorgeous glassed over look instead. So it's actually frosted, looks really nice. And then just the interior of the ship has exponentially more detail than the UNSC Infinity does. It's got all of these sticker details that run all the way through, show all of these computer terminals, and then the Infinity has two removable pieces, has the rolling terminal, which is really nice, and then a lot of these really cool display pieces, all printed. What loses the most points for me, which I commented about when I built this thing originally, the actual armory bays inside. Now the Forward Unto Dawn has a gorgeous armory bay that has three different walls and a door that leads into the next room and you can display an enormous amount of weapons and even a radio backpack. But then this one literally just has one removable armory bay, which it, it is cool in design, but barely has any room for any figures inside. Even when you look inside the control room of the Infinity, it's just bland walls. This one has insane levels of detail all the way across. Each one of these panels looks like it has a purpose, which is exactly what you would want. So for design, I will give it to the Forward Unto Dawn, but it is worthwhile to note that these stickers are starting to peel all the way across the actual build, and the Infinity has printed detailing throughout, no stickers, which I've said since the early days of the SS Motion is way better, and I know the technology existed at the time. So they could have done that a bit better with the Forward Unto Dawn, but still way better interior than the Infinity. It is also worthwhile to mention that the Forward Unto Dawn measures almost 100 centimeters when the Infinity is about 75. So honestly, if you're a collector that doesn't have much space, the design is a lot more compact and for a lower price point might be better to display it if you don't have that much space. Then we're gonna move on to number three, the build. I just said a lot of negatives about the Infinity, but oh my goodness, the Infinity wins hands down when it comes to the build. I took about four or five straight days to build the Ford Unto Dawn, and the organization of the pieces was like mind-numbing, especially when you have absolutely tiny pieces that just get lost. And I even lost some of these parts when I first built it and had to get replacements. So the Infinity comes in four boxes and each box has numbered bags and you will only ever be using three numbered bags at most. That cuts the build time by like a million percent. My girlfriend and I built the Infinity in four and a half hours. Just saying that blows my mind and showcases the engineering and the progress that Mega Constructs have made as a company to be able to organize the production line to make those buildable bags that just cut the build time exponentially. So in terms of how easy it was to build, Infinity hands down, even the Forward Unto Dawn instruction manual had very bad discoloring, so you could never tell what shade of each brick you were using, and I kept on making mistakes. So while the Forward Unto Dawn might win on structural design, the Infinity wins on buildable design every time. Now, one of the things people are most passionate about, the characters. Now, it's very difficult to compare both old and new articulation. Up until this point, we had had almost no named figures at all. Even in sets that obviously had named figures, they didn't name them the exact character. And this is one of the first sets that we had an official Master Chief. 
and all the promotional material for the Forward Into Dawn really honed in on how many paint applications are on the figure. The Master Chief with over 30 paint passes with a new metallic color, and of course the all new Light Up Cortana. Like if you compare it to the Cryo Bay Master Chief, it's apples and oranges. He has black highlights like all over his body. His visor is more detailed. So the Master Chief at the time was by far the best one we had. And all the characters were probably the most detailed we'd ever seen in Mega Bloks. The Zealot, I was never entirely impressed with. I mean, the purple applications on his helmet were really cool. But then the commanding officer and the engineer were both exceptional. Comparing the two AIs that we got, the Roland is also really cool. When we first got the Elephant, they gave us a Roland AI that was just a Cortana print. It also comes with the Halo Heroes Lasky, but this one's on a really cool table. Nice printed detailing on the keyboard. Then we're talking about the Master Chief. Now, this new articulation chief is awesome. It's got a really cool lime green color, which I so prefer over the Halo 5 Guardians, like dark green colors. It's got a black visor that's exceptional. Really, when you compare it to this one, it does not have paint applications on its shoulders or a lot of other places like on its feet. Maybe not a signature series figure in terms of the level of detail, but what certainly is, is the UNSC Lasky. This one is personally one of my favorite figures that Mega Constructs has ever made. And I love that they've given him the shotgun straight out of Spartan Ops. The gold detailing on his arms is some of my favorite. I think it's one of the only human heads that I think just 100% works. A human head that doesn't 100% work is Cortana's. The head just looks weird. The face is so strange. The printed detailing on her body is awesome. I like that we've got a new articulation Cortana. The Halo Hero Series 5 Cortana is so hard to find, but it's a kind of average figure, but the Lasky is exceptional for me. I really, really do like the Lasky a lot. Captain Lasky to all hands, battle stations. This is not a drill. Lasky. In terms of which one wins, it is very hard to say because it's a difference between new and old articulation. But I mean, you do get four figures in the Forward Into Dawn. It is more expensive, but the printed detailing on the Chief is probably what tips it over the edge towards the Forward Into Dawn for me. Talking about weapons now, the Infinity has seven weapons plus some grenades. The Sticky Detonator, which is so iconic for the Forward Into Dawn, has three levels of color on it, which is really nice. The Forward Into Dawn comes with five assault rifles, a battle rifle, three SMGs, three magnums, one plasma rifle, one radio backpack, one sticky detonator. You can tell that they have that many from the armory bay inside. So really, when it comes to weapons, the Forward Into Dawn wins. But the new molds of the assault rifle and the battle rifle do give the Infinity a lot more points, especially the SMG as well. It is refreshing to know that between production of these two sets, Mega Bloks continue to innovate and create new molds for almost all their weapons, and the Spartan Laser too. And then we've got the features to round off this set. The UNSC Infinity, I would count this Roland table as a really nice feature of the set, but the Forward Into Dawn has a very special feature indeed. If you remove these panels here, there are two black strips that you can remove just like that. The Forward Into Dawn will break in half, just like that, straight out of the beginning of Halo 4 or out of the promotional material for Halo 4, the very first trailer we got for Halo 4, so such an iconic moment. It comes with these pipes that you can attach into here and you can have the chief sticky detonator in hand looking straight out of the front of the ship as he's hurtling towards the shield world. This is the most iconic moment from the Forward Into Dawn's history and to have it just so visualized like this is amazing. I would have also kind of liked to see them include an Arbiter in the front of the ship because, you know, he makes it back to Earth. But this is just such a badass accessory, such a cool thing to just include. They really didn't need to do it, but they went out of their way to do it. That's so cool to have him just exposed at the front of the ship. Ah, this is one point, as you can see. 
that the Infinity does win out on, these poor stickers just get crumpled and die. So guys, when I, when I started making this video, I really thought it would be a little easier than this. I thought the Forward Unto Dawn would be the clear winner. But the UNSC has a lot of accessories and a lot of features that I do think puts it almost in line with the Forward Unto Dawn. Not necessarily in line with it, but when you're talking about the price point and talking about it being a more accessible set for a wider audience, there are some benefits to the UNSC Infinity. Please do let me know in the comments below, guys, which you think should be the victor. And this video would not have been made possible without the awesome team at World Trader for Mega Constructs. These guys hooked me up with the UNSC Infinity, made all of these videos possible, and for the next two days, they are giving away a UNSC Infinity. We're gonna do a live stream draw for the winner on the 25th. Just having these sets next to each other, it, it is an absolute joy. The two ships are so intertwined in Halo lore as the Infinity is pretty much the pass on ship from the Forward Unto Dawn in Halo 4. Both sets have so much to offer. While the Forward Unto Dawn is far bigger, it is far more expensive, but some features make it feel more like a signature series set, but the Infinity has some real bells and whistles that you can't ignore. The Lasky and the Chief are awesome. The rolling table is cool. I would have liked to see a bigger armory bay, but the outside of the ship, these iconic silver rods and all the printed detail, wind the set together with all these smoothed out edges that I don't think were achievable back in the Forward Unto Dawn days. Other than being sent on a wonderful trip down memory lane, Thank you very much for tuning in today. Please support both myself at this weird transition time where I'm moving to Hong Kong in the next month and also support World Trader for Mega Constructs for putting this together. They are the number one place to get some Mega Blocks online. They are also doing giveaways all the time. They just gave away three sealed Spartan War Masters and they have loads more giveaways in the future as well. This was another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And the forward unto dawn or the infinity, forward unto dawn, infinity, which one's signing off? It's got to be both of them. The forward unto dawn and the infinity are signing off. Shh, bring the camera closer. Shh.